eating my homegrown dragon fruit. My goodness, this is so sweet. Let me try. Really sweet, actually. This is pretty big. The style is bigger than what you bought from imports from store. I encourage you folks, if you like dragon fruit, to grow them. They're pretty easy and then there's a technique to actually, the first year, try to have them produce, uh, you know, more, more fruits. That's a way to do it. Basically, you have to give it uh, during the, the, before the blooming season, keep them fertilizer and also give them the, uh, should I say, a flower or a blooming fertilizer. I will, I will put the link down below and then you do that I do that almost every you know you put it like you keep it like two couple teaspoons or tablespoons for per one gallon of water on this uh, uh, blooming fertilizer and then you know just give it to your plant um, I, I do it every week for you know for the next few weeks for example and then at the same time you start trimming uh, trimming the, uh, the dragon fruit, maybe like a couple inch from the tip to force them to actually flower. So hopefully what you get is little buds that start to come out, flower buds that start to come out uh, in the next month or two and then you will have more uh, dragon fruits. That's how I do it. I force it to actually produce flower and this is fairly big like I say and it's delicious. Anyway, I just want to show you what it looks like. This is the uh, the white flesh kind. I also have uh, uh, red flesh that in which I will show you probably in the next, probably gonna be two, three months before, I guess before it start to get really cold. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you folks on the next video. Bye for now.